Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at a brand new 2024 Cardinal 39QB fifth wheel. This is a two bedroom, two full bathroom fifth wheel. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this RV, show you what this thing's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2024 Cardinal 39 QB fifth wheel. As you've seen on the floor plan that was up, this is a two bedroom, two bathroom unit here. Now, I wanna actually get started in the front and then we're gonna come back to the back section here. So let's get started up here at the front section. So going up your hallway area here, you got kind of like a little floating step set up there. There's an electric box down there with some breakers and fuses. One of your digital thermostats for your AC. You got some slide controls, light switches, 12 volt tank heaters if you do that option. Uh, you got the awning buttons, monitor panels, on demand water heater controls. But up in the nose area of the RV, you're going to have your master bedroom. So you do have a slide out bed here. The bed will raise up, so there's some storage underneath of there. One of your ACs up here. There's TV hookups over here above the dresser as well. Big closet across the front, so you have some shelf space. Little dresser area over there, full extending, ball bearing drawer, got a drawers. Now over here on this side, you have an area you could use for either shelving, uh, you could make it another closet, or you can do a washer dryer. So you have little uh, electric outlets up there. You've got the little uh, closet rod up there washer dryer hookups, all that stuff down here. So if you do decide you wanna do that, you can take out these shelves, do your combo washer dryer, do your stackable washer dryer, whichever you prefer. Plenty of room to maneuver around the bedroom area. Now one of your bathrooms right here, just off the master bedroom. So you do have a little vent fan up there, skylight up above, step and shower with the vinyl pull across uh, door there. Foot flush toilet. A little bit of storage area here as well. Kind of a little medicine cabinet area there. Back down here into the living room kitchen area. So we have a theater seat over here. There's an electric outlet on the back of that dinette. You have that U-shape dinette set up there. Now you could order it with a freestanding dinette if you prefer, uh, but a lot of people seem to like the U-shape dinette. It will go down, make into a bed, so you could sleep an extra guest or two there. Uh, it will also obviously give you a little bit more seating arrangement, a little more comfortable seating arrangement and it gives you more storage underneath of there as well. Nice big windows on the back side of the slide out there. It's all vinyl floor down here in this area, even the slide out floor as well. Now over here, you're gonna have a little pantry area. Pretty good size, pretty deep. And then you have the 10.7 cubic foot refrigerator. You find this refrigerator in a lot of travel trailers now, some fifth wheels as well, but a very popular refrigerator in the RV industry now. This again is a 12 volt refrigerator. And then up top, quite a bit of storage up there as well. That Furion oven three burner cooktop, little light up knobs, flip down glass lid, Furion hood range light and fan, Furion microwave, 
Um, so you kind of get the idea, a lot of Furion appliances in the RV. But overall, quite a bit of storage. Has a large undermount sink, high rise sprayer faucet there. Pretty big TV. You got that uh, fireplace down below. Now the fireplace is basically just a fancy electric space heater, uh, but they do knock the chill off in an RV pretty well. And then you have your traditional propane furnace if you really get too cold. And there's a little stool underneath of there as well. A little bit of storage under there. Now right back here, we're going to have the second bedroom area. So you have two bunks on the slide that are kind of mounted into place. And then you have a little pull-out mattress underneath. So you could sleep three people fairly comfortably on this side. And over here, you're going to have another slide out. And this will actually flip out into a queen bed. Now we are going to be right back with it down. All right, so it's pretty simple and easy to do. You just basically fold down the jackknife sofa and then you re uh, release a couple latches and the Murphy bed comes down out of the wall. So you have a window back there. You have some more storage on the side as well. There is a little bit of carpet I noticed on that slide out there instead of the vinyl floor. And same thing over here on this slide out as well. Back here, you're going to have your second full bath. So just kind of looking up top here, we got a vent, AC duct in here. You have the entry exit door going out the back side of the RV. There is a foot flush toilet. Some more storage underneath of there and a step in shower. And that is RV antifreeze, not actually blood or anything like that crazy. Um, but uh, it's cold outside. These RVs come in winterized. But a decent sized bathroom for kids. All right, now I want to head back outside. I want to show you where the outside. Then we're going to come back in, close it up, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Cardinal 39 QB fifth wheel here. I'm going to start here on the door side. We'll work our way around for you. So first things up, we have a white fiberglass exterior, aluminum studded foam block insulated sidewall. You have a lower black metal skirting, some vinyl decals, deep tent safety glass windows, power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting, even got a little porch light above your entry door there. There's a pretty large pass-through storage compartment area right here. There's a light in there. You can see some of that aluminum tube framing up there. Two 20-pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator. You have a gas line hookup right down here in case you wanted to plug in like a portable grill or something. You have electric front jacks with quick pull pins to drop the feet down faster. You have electric rear stabilizer jacks as well. Large folding entry handle to get you in and out of the RV. Traditional fiberglass entry door. It does have a screen door you've seen when we were inside. You also have the upgraded more ride entrance step which is rated for 500 pounds on your main entry door. There is like a little bottle opener down there as well. You have a cable outlet and an electric outlet over here next to that big storage door area. So you could plug in a portable TV if you wanted to. You do have the stove exhaust vent up top. There is dual axle, drum brakes, easy loop hub, aluminum wheels. Does have the Under Armour uh, enclosed underbelly they call it. This one again was ordered with the optional 12 volt heat pads on the holding tank to give you better cold weather camping. 
And as you've seen when we were inside the bathroom, the second bathroom is in the back section back here. And you got the entry exit door right here on the back corner. They use the traditional hover style step back here. That's rated for 300 pounds. Still give you that large folding entry handle here. And you also have the uh, porch light up above the door. And the back jack button is just to the right of the steps there to put down the back jacks. Traditional fiberglass flat back rear end. It does have prepping in the top center up there for the uh, Furion rear observation camera. It lets you see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road or backing into your campsite. In the top right corner up there, you're also prepped for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder. That's a nice telescoping ladder that you might consider getting as well. Detachable 50 amp power cord right here. And then just underneath, you do have a dump area right here. There's three handles coming out the frame section just up there to pull. That'll take care of some of your back tank areas. You're gonna have a second dump up toward the front a little further. Now when the slides are out, you can kind of see there is a little uh, cap you could remove to get underneath of there to those handles. Kind of useless in my opinion. You could just reach right underneath of there and grab them. But they put a little cap there. Now another thing you might consider doing on these RVs as well is putting slide out awning covers on top of the slides. They roll in and out with the slide when it goes in and out. Just kind of helps repel a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, that type of stuff. You can see right there's another little dump area and some handles back in behind here. Furnace exhaust out right here. You have your on-demand water heater right here as well. The other side of your storage area right here. Now right here you're going to have your... Um, what they call docking station, which basically has the city water inlet, fresh water tank fill up, black tank flush for one of your bathrooms. There's another black tank flush as well for the second one. Landing gear control, some light switches, battery disconnect, battery down here, hot and cold outside utility shower, some low point water drains, manual override for the front fifth wheel jacks in case of an electronic failure also in here. Now right here you're going to have some very important informational stickers here. For example, this is the production date sticker. This was built 1215 of 23, model number 39QB. Gross vehicle weight 14,124 pounds. That's the most you can load it up to. Axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. Don't exceed that. You're going to have, uh, let's see here, tire sticker, ST23580R16E range tires with an 80 PSI cold. Very important to keep up with your tire pressure. Dry weight sticker right here, telling us 11,616 pounds is what it weighed dried when it rolled off the assembly line. Length, 43 feet, 3 inches. Step back here so you can see down the side a little bit better. You'll notice that front end is notched out, kind of bubbled out, really uh, trying to make it a little more aerodynamic. You got an LED light strip there as well. Uh, the way they kind of shape out the cap down here in the lower section gives a little better turning radius. This model is currently using the Rhino pen box, so make sure if you do plan on ever upgrading this that you get something that bolts up to the Rhino pen box. And it's got like a little uh, flag holder thing in here as well. And then underneath the here, you're going to have kind of a storage area. And this right here has your spare tire in here. And then back inside of here is a little bit of the inner workings of the RV as well. But overall, a very large, affordable bunkhouse fifth wheel here. All right, we're going to step back inside. I want to show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside.
All right, we are now back up inside the brand new 2024 Cardinal 39 QB. Just wanted to show you what it looks like closed up real quick. I've kind of cheated a little bit. I've already closed up three of the four slides to speed this part up for you a little bit. But as you can see, if you do try to go through this way and the back is closed, I could squeeze through there, but it is a little snug. If you're just trying to come back here to maybe throw something in one of the cubbies or underneath of the uh, you know, seat here or whatever, it might be a little easier to come through the back door. When that door right there is closed and you bring in this big slide, you're not really getting back there from this direction. So going through the back bathroom into there if you're stopping at a rest area or something. Now your front master bedroom area right here, coming through your main entry door here, you have full access to the front bathroom. You can open up the door here and go right on into your master bedroom. I could come in here, lay down, take a nap if I needed to, climb over the bed, get to my big closet up there. Can't get to the bottom drawers, but you can get to the top part if you need. And if I really needed to, I could kind of reach around in here, kind of grab some of the stuff out of this area as well. Now, when doing the uh, big slide down here, or really any of the slides, it's very, very important to make sure your floor is clean so you don't accidentally run over something that's lying in the floor and rip and damage your floor. It could be something as small as a you know, little rock or pebble that come off the bottom of your shoe or something, and then it gets trapped in between there, and the next thing you know, you're damaging your stuff. So very important to make sure your floor is clean. Now when bringing in this slide, these are 12 volt slides. So as long as you got a good charged up battery system, you should be able to run this thing in and out. They do have manual overrides in case of an electronic failure. When this gets in, again, it's gonna block that back door off and it's gonna be kind of snug around the end of the counter here, but I could squeeze through there if I needed to, to load my refrigerator or something. But it only takes a couple seconds to just bump it out enough to be able to really walk through there comfortably. But you can see you can kind of walk around a little bit, go over, and if you needed to, load your fridge at a grocery store or something. I could stand here on this side if I'm just coming in to wash my hands or something. I could do that from this side, not really have to go over there. And then going back out, it's kind of the same thing. Just hit the button, take it right on back out. Now be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They're definitely going to save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. They sell and ship campers all over North America, and sometimes even out of the country as well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind helping out my channel. Much appreciated. Thanks again.